Today is Friday of the fourth week of Easter, and as we continue our observance of the celebration of the Lord's resurrection, we're going to hear today a gospel that's very often used in funerals. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I do go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. My sisters and brothers in Christ, the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus spoke these words to his disciples at the Last Supper in John's Gospel, the day before he is to be put to death. And he tells them, do not let your hearts be troubled, because he promises them that he will come again after his passion, death, and resurrection, and share his life with them, and share his eternal home with God the Father with them. And the promise that led Christians on was, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. And then Jesus says, where I'm going, you know the way. And the way that Jesus may have had in mind was, it's going to involve dying for our beliefs. It's going to involve self-sacrifice and generosity. It's going to involve imitating and crucified Jesus, who, because he tells the truth, is put to death and following him into eternal resurrection and life. And Thomas, when he asks the question, says, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus says, I am the way. When we come into our church and see that gigantic uh, crucifix above the altar, we know that suffering in, is involved in the way to God. And we see it in our loved ones who have suffered and who have died because death is a prelude to eternal life. Death in this world, death to this world. But in this world is where we have a chance to practice that self-sacrifice and generosity that will characterize our own self-giving after the pattern of Jesus' generous self-giving, giving his entire life for those he came to save. May God bless you, and we continue to celebrate the Feast of Easter these days.